Refashioning is about taking old, unwanted pieces of clothing and giving them a new life. It's about pulling those shirts from the back of your closet that you'd never wear, or those $5 dresses hanging on the thrift store rack, and transforming them with a pair of scissors, a sewing machine, and an open mind. My name is Callie, and I'm on a mission to create the ultimate upcycled wardrobe, one project at a time. Hey guys, today we're going to be working on this basic maxi dress. It's just a simple cut, straight maxi dress, sleeveless in this black and white and gray floral print. So we're just going to make this a little more interesting, a little more appropriate for summer. Okay, so first things first, I'm trying on the dress and I'm just marking the hem. And for this dress, I decided to go with more of a midi length. Next, I'm going to go to the neckline. I'm going to make this kind of slit at the top of that rounded neck. So I'm just marking where I want the bottom of that slit to fall. Okay, next we're going to take that dress and put it on the ground, and I'm just cutting out the hem using that pin I put as a reference, and I'm doing a rounded hem. And then I'm going to go to the neckline, and I'm going to go down the very center of the front of that neckline and cut a slit about four inches deep. Okay, next I'm using a pattern piece for a sleeve that I had in my um, dresser, and I'm just cutting out sleeves two of them um, just from that excess fabric that I cut off the bottom. Once I have my sleeve pieces, I'm going to pin those to the armhole. So I do this with right sides together, using that rounded curve and pinning that to the armhole, starting at the shoulder point and working my way around the armhole down to the armpit. And once I get to the armpit, I'll pin that um, the sleeve bottom together that's what you see me doing right here. And after I have that all pinned, I will take it over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sleeve up that arm bottom, so the bottom of the sleeve first, and then attach the sleeve around the armhole. And once we've got those sleeves all the way on, I'm moving to the neckline and I'm just going, putting the neckline um, inside out on my ironing board and I'm just folding over the raw edges of the slit I cut. So just folding the raw edge over to the wrong side of the garment, ironing, pinning, and then once I've got that all pinned down, I'll take it over to the sewing machine and just sew that down with a top stitch. Okay, next thing, I decided that I wanted to improve the shape of this dress. It fit fairly well, but I wanted to change the shape. So I'm adding some elastic at the waist. So I'm just taking um, a quarter inch elastic and measuring around my waist and then cutting that strip. And then I'm just going to um, connect those two loose ends so that I have a tube of elastic. And once I have that sewn, I put my dress on my dress form inside out and then I'll just slip that elastic over the top down to where I want the waist to, to be cinched in and I'm going to line up the middle of the front, the middle of the back, and the side seam. So I'm just kind of distributing that elastic evenly around the entire dress so that I don't have bunching um, unevenly after I sew the elastic down. So just keep pinning and I'll just straighten that out um, evenly around the whole waist. Then I'll take that over to the sewing machine and I'm just pulling my elastic taut, um, pulling it, stretching it so that it matches the fabric. Um, again, just doing this so that the, the fabric doesn't get any weird bunches or gathers, but that it stays pretty even. And as I sew this, I'm doing a zigzag stitch. I just did a small zigzag, and that will really help to preserve the stretch. If you do a straight stitch, that can lead to breaking threads. So make sure you do a zigzag. Okay, next thing, I decided that I didn't love the sleeves. Um, I thought they were a little too plain. So I decided to create kind of a ruched look 
um, by adding some tabs um, that came around the sleeve and kind of bunched it up. So I'm just cutting out two tabs. They were about two inches wide and four inches long, and I'm just folding over and finishing those raw edges. Then I'm going to tuck that tab under my sleeve and just kind of eyeball where I want it to be pinned on the inside so that I can pull it and tuck like you just saw me do there. So once I have that pinned in place, I will just add those tabs to the inside of the sleeve. Um, you want the right side facing out like you see here, so wrong sides together. And I'm just going to pin those down and then take those over to the sewing machine and just do um, a couple stitches just to hold that down. Okay, and the last step I did is I just hemmed my dress. So I just rolled the bottom, so I just folded it, ironed, pinned, and sewed. And again, I did a rounded hem as this was a midi dress, and I feel like that's a little bit more flattering. And then we're done. So let's take a look at the final transformation.